At the turn of the 19th century, the streets of Paris were narrow, dirty, crowded, and mostly sidewalkless. They were altogether an unpleasant experience. But Paris was the leading edge of the world. Everything in the city was expanding and changing fast. A new social class was rising up in Parisian society. The bourgeoisie. These people had some money to spend and were ready to carve out a place for themselves in the modern city. This is how a new social, spatial and economic model emerged in Paris. A clever entrepreneur took over a narrow alley connecting two streets to a dense Parisian block. The ground floors of buildings along this passageway would form a continuous row of elegant little stores. The fronts of all these stores would be glazed, making it possible for the merchants to display their goods in creative ways, stirring up the desires and imaginations of the customers strolling along. This passageway would be roofed over, just like the roads of the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, but now there were brand new materials available, glass and cast iron. Covered by a glass roof, the narrow shopping passage could be protected from the elements, as well as sublimely lit from the sky. Gas lights were used for the first time in a public space in order to keep a passage illuminated, even in the night. This clever invention of industrial luxury was a big success. Throughout the first half of the 19th century, numerous passages were being carved into the vast accretions of buildings that made up the center of Paris. Not only were they convenient shortcuts to dense blocks, but they also created a new profitable and protected labyrinth of luxuries through which the new urban consumers could navigate the city. The passage was, however, more than the sum of the stuff artfully displayed behind the large glass panes. Much of the lure was the fact that there were a bunch of others in there whom you could see and who could, more importantly, see you. A new culture developed through the cracks in Parisian blocks. And in the decades to come, this new way of life will spill out of the passages and slowly but surely flood the human world, claiming an ever bigger and more extravagant stage for itself in the great cities of modernity.